Hey, hey, hey guys, it's always good to see you back on this YouTube channel. And in today's episode, we are going to talk about Ravencoin, Team Red Miner, and the RX 5700 GPUs. You might be even more profitable to mine Ravencoin than Ethereum currently with these graphics cards with this new miner. I know that I have been also saying that 1660, 1660 Ti, 1660 Super, also one of my favorite graphics cards, but um, Team Red Miner completely um, deleted these thoughts uh, from me and made the RX 5700 GPU uh, the best choice for the mining currently in 2020. It, it is doing you know, the best performance price per hash and probably uh, close to maybe watt per hash also on two of the biggest mining and two of the most popular coins mined currently ethereum and ravencoin so they the team red miner has done a really good job and uh, if you remember you know i was doing a benchmark testing for ravencoin as soon as they changed the uh new algorithm kapow i think it was a couple of months ago maybe a month a little bit more and uh, the highest hash rate for the rx 5700 at that time uh, i was only available to get about 15 16 mega hash per card which was about the same hash rate for the, as for a 16 16 ti but now the performance has nearly doubled it is it is as efficient as uh uh, 1080 Ti it is more efficient than 1060 1070 it is nearly it's close to as, as efficient as a Vega 7 for mining a raven coin so let's dig in you know let's let's see the results and take you to the screen share so as you can see I'm using the Hybo S for testing out this mining rig so let's open the putty and also SSH into the miner to see the uh, you know current hash rates um, I'm using the Hive OS latest version uh, the 140 beta uh, for the RX 5700 graphics cards um, which is uh, you know one of the uh, which is the best version to use uh, for the RX 5700 GPUs what I have also on these GPUs um, I found out that the most most a mining speed I was able to get with non not modified BIOS so I am using the RX 5700 GPU non XT BIOS and uh, you can see that the wattage is 135 it uses slightly more uh, watts from the uh, in the software than, than it uses for mining for Ethereum the core clock is overclocked 1650 then the memory is 900 and power limit at 135 and I'm using team Red miner 075 and the total hash rate is 153 mega hash but this keeps changing as I said before um, the Kapow algorithm you know the hash rate isn't stable so the biggest I was getting around 20 a little bit over 26 mega hash and this is the lowest was I was I ab about to get you know it was about 22 mega hash per card so if you put this this data into the what mine uh, mining calculator so it, the same rig seven gpus does 400 mega hash at 1100 watts and the um, 170 mega hash at 1400 watts on kapow mining ravencoin and the results we get is that revenue for the ravencoin is 823 a day and the profits at 10 cents a kilowatt is 447 Ethereum is uh, revenue 7.29 and the um, profits are 4.65 US dollar and we see a few cents more it's profitable more profitable to mine Ravencoin but remember this guys the calculations is done at 10 cents a kilowatt so if your power cost for kilowatt will be even cheaper um, than 10 cents a kilowatt then it makes more sense to mine Ravencoin because the revenue is a lot higher than the um, than the uh, mining Ethereum. So about one US dollar revenue more to mine 
Ravencoin, then Ethereum. And just to compare these GPUs, you can see that it is more efficient than 2060, more efficient than 2070. Um, 2070 hash around 20, uh, 20 uh, mega hash, you know, and cost a lot more. Also, it is about the same efficiency as the 1080 Ti, which is also the double of the price. Also, the uh, uh, 20 Ti does about 34, 37 mega hash, which is a lot more than than the RX 57, but also it costs close to 1,000 euro. Also, it's not too far off from the Vega 7 cards, you know, 3 mega hash less, and it's more efficient than the Vega 56 and Vega 64. I really love what uh, Team Red Miner has done. Um, it has created a good miner for RX5700 GPUs. Um, it has created also um, a miner for Ethereum, you know, which is quite efficient. It is not as efficient as the Phoenix miner, but it is still uh, giving out good performance around uh, 54, 55 mega hash per graphics card, where the Phoenix can achieve about 58 for mining Ethereum. It's very important to choose um, correct hardware for mining if you are here for the profits and RX 5700 are absolutely the best GPUs currently uh, for mining you know mining mining ethereum mining a raven coin you know two of the top of the coins uh, ethereum classic um, yeah it's very important that you know if you are here to make the money uh, it's very important for you to make the most of the profits that you can pay back your investment in your equipment as fast as possible so I do believe that RX 5700 is the best choice um, some people might get uh, some other used cards which they have a good deal that's okay yeah but you know if you are making a, a larger investment in the new graphics cards this is definitely the best choice to go thank you for watching the video till end I hope you did enjoy it and you know if you did uh, share with your buddies and hit that like button hitting the like button doesn't cost you Anything it increases value for this YouTube channel and thank you if you did hit the like button also share with your buddies and Subscribe the channel uh, to not miss the next videos, you know, we might found some Some more performance increase on some other graphics cards, which will probably update on this YouTube channel. So Yeah, guys Thank you for watching the video till end and I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye, goodbye. Mine hardcore or don't mind at all.